So let's proceed to my example number two, amortization. Example two, find the monthly amortization for a debt amounting to 150,000, which is to be repaid in two years at 15% compounded monthly. Construct an amortization table. So let's start with the given. The present value should be 150,000. The interest rate is 15% or 0.15. The time in years is two years and your M value, this is monthly amortization. So meaning you'll pay 12 times a year. So this M value is 12. Okay. We still use the same formula for annuity and amortization. And to simplify my solution, let me complete my periodic rate. This is the quotient of R and M. So this is equals this cell R divided by my M value placed on this cell. So I have 0 0.0125. This is equivalent to 1.25%. This means that every time I make my periodic payment, in this case monthly payment, I am paying an interest rate of 1.25%. Now the total number of payments, this is time multiplied to M. This is equals time T in years multiplied to the number of payments made in a year, that's 12. So this should be 24. There you go. And let me compute for my periodic payment R. So this is equals set up your numerator divided by your denominator. So let's work it out on the numerator. My P value is located here multiplied to my periodic rate R over M is located here and then working out on the denominator I have 1 minus this is a grouping symbol so an open and close parenthesis and then an exponent that's the symbol then my exponent should be placed in group so that's an open and close parenthesis so let's work it out with this first grouping 1 plus R over M so this is 1 plus my R over M is located in this cell, K7. And then my exponent in grouping is minus the product of T and M located in this cell, K8. So press enter and I have a value of 7,273. This is my periodic payment. In this example, it's monthly basis. So just to recheck my computation, let me pull up my calculator and redo this on a calculator so that I have my numerator and my denominator. So let me complete my numerator. This is p-value is 1,000 or 150,000 multiplied to the quotient of R and M, that's fraction. So I have R value is 0.15 and my M value is 12. On my denominator, I have one minus a grouping of one plus a fraction R over M, so that's 0.15 divided by 12. After my grouping, I have an exponent. On my calculator, this is the power symbol. And then let me place that on a grouping symbol. So I have a minus product of T and M. This is 2 and 12, 2 times 12. Then press enter so that my value should be the same as 7,273. Let's see that. 7,272.9972. This is the exact value on my computation in the spreadsheet. So let me construct my amortization table. As indicated, the total number of payments should be 24. So my due date period should be up to 24. And I already placed my value total R on my amortization table. So I did this by placing equal sign and then hitting the cell then pressing enter so that's 7273 notice that if I increase my decimal number it should present me the exact value the same as my calculator so when I round this off to two decimal place it's showing 7273 I'm not gonna worry about the exact value because the calculator and the spreadsheet computation is exactly the same. So let me compute my periodic interest. This is periodic rate R over M. This is equals my R value is 0.15. 
divided by my m value is 12 press enter and I have the same amount of 0.0125 so this is the interest I pay every time I make my monthly payment in this example the outstanding balance is 150,000 there you go so let's compute for the periodic interest this is equal to the outstanding balance multiplied to this periodic interest press enter and I have 1875 this is the interest I am paying for my first periodic payment 7273 so that my principal amount is the difference of the periodic payment and periodic interest so I have 5398 the outstanding balance is equal to 150,000 minus the principal amount all right so that on my first periodic payment, I made a payment of 7,273. But the real principal that I am paying is 5,398 and the interest I have paid is 1,875. So the outstanding balance will not be computed by deducting the monthly payment on the outstanding balance. New outstanding balance should be computed by the difference of the old outstanding balance and the actual principal amount you have paid. Now since I'm working on a spreadsheet, I'll just simply copy the formula placed on the first cell and copy it to the remaining cells. But before I do that on my periodic interest, let me make sure that this location I15 won't move when I drag the formula down so that I can place a dollar sign before the letter I and then before the number 15. This simply means this cell located in column I row 15 is totally fixed press enter and i still have the same amount of 1875 so when i copy the formula drag it down up to the last payment that's the 24th payment the formula is in place but the amortization table is not yet updated so let's go up and update the other columns principal amount would be equal to the difference of the periodic payment and periodic interest I can also drag the formula. There you go. This column is not yet updated because the last column doesn't have any value yet. So let's go up and now computing for the new outstanding balance. Since the formula is already placed on this cell, I could simply copy or drag the formula down. There you go. Notice that the last payment, 24th payment, the outstanding balance is already zero. And that on the last payment, you have a lesser periodic interest because the previous outstanding balance is also less. So in an amortization table, it will actually show how much is the interest you are paying every time you make your regular payment and how much is the actual principal you are paying when the periodic interest is deducted from your periodic payment. It will also show the outstanding balance after you make your periodic payment. So in an amortization, this is a debt repayment scheme where you should make your actual payment on time because if you miss out on your due date period, definitely banks will actually impose penalty and you will pay an additional interest. So just to explain, if we try to check your total payment after two years, this will be equal to the sum of your periodic payment. So that's equals SUM open parenthesis. And let me highlight all your monthly payment. Press enter. And in total, you actually paid 174,551.93 after two years. And the total interest you paid is equal to the sum that's equals SUM open parenthesis of the total periodic interest. So press enter and this is 24,551.93. Take note that your debt is an amount of 150,000. So when you get the difference of this total payment and this total interest paid, it should be 150,000. Or if I also take the sum of your principal amount, it should also be equal to 150,000. So let's see that. Let's equals SUM open parenthesis and then highlight this set of data. 
press enter and you have the exact debt of 150,000. So when your parents apply a loan from, say for example, SSS, the social security system, or any organization lending cash, then they always receive this amortization table indicating when will they make their payment on a monthly basis, showing their periodic interest and how much they are actually paying when they pay the periodic payment. And of course, the exact computation like this, and we call this amortization table.